Hey there, everybody. Welcome to the Pop-Up Studio. It's me, Matthew Reinhardt. I'm a pop-up creator, uh, children's book author, and illustrator, and, well, I like to make stuff. And I want to welcome you to my channel. I want to welcome you to my studio. It's, it's always a mess here. But, hey, welcome. Let's make something, right? Today, it's, well, it's still Dinosaur Month. I love Dinosaur. We might extend Dinosaur Month into the next month because I just love dinosaurs so much. We both do here in the studio. And... This is what we're making this week. Oh my gosh, it's called a dinosaur light box. So the reason why I say it's a light box is, well, actually it's the Mesozoic light box because the Mesozoic era is divided into the Triassic period, the Jurassic period, and the Cretaceous period, right? So that's when all the dinosaurs were. For millions and millions of years, they ruled the earth. And I thought it would be really cool to make this light box made out of paper. See all the different layers. You can see that there's the, there's the Triassic period. Let's see, there's the Cretaceous and there's the Jurassic period. Look at that. And it's all kind of 3D and there's tissue paper in there. So see, look, we can put uh, a light in here, not a candle. We're not getting anything that's fiery. I just got these little, um, and, and I just have something that's like a little battery powered something you can put in there. You can put your, you can put your, your phone light in there. You could do all kinds of stuff and you could, um, display this, but this is our very own light box. Look at how cool that is. It's really solid too. It's a really solid sort of crap. You could almost put it over a, a lamp or something if you, well, don't do that. We don't need the house blowing up, but anyways, we're going to make this. You want to join me? Come on. There's a template down below. Now this one is labor intensive and you're going to need a lot of cardstock. So you're going to need 12 pieces of cardstock. You can use different colors. You can use the same color. You can decorate things however you like. Um, I have it real simple. Download the templates below. Um, print them out there. It's a PDF. So everyone should be able to open them, print them out onto to eight and a half by 11 cardstock and get any color you want. And uh, let's get assembling. Okay, after you've printed out all of the templates and there's 12 pages, so you're gonna need a lot of cardstock. You can get different colors if you want. That's what I did for, for mine. I used a bunch of different colors. And here's the other stuff you're gonna need. You need a ruler, you need a knitting needle, or you can use a giant paper clip like I use. Um, a craft knife would be really helpful because you're gonna, there's gonna be some very, detail cutting to do. You can use also use scissors for some of the larger pieces and then glue, good old glue, our friend. And we're going to also use some um, transparent tape later on and some tissue paper. So let's get started. We're just going to do some of the scoring and you know how that all goes. Solid black lines are where we cut and the dotted black lines are where we score. And we're going to cut out all these pieces. It's going to take a little while. So take your time, you know, put on some music or watch some TV while you're doing it. It's, this craft, there's a lot of tedious little parts. So, you know, you got to do all that, but you're not going to move as quick as me because I've had lots and lots of coffee. There we go. Okay, all our pieces are completed. Let's do a little folding, pre-folding. Because we scored everything, it'll be really easy for us to fold along all those dotted lines. Remember, that's what we did. We scored along all the dotted lines. So I just pre-folded everything. All right, let's set aside these three pieces. These three pieces are all going to have tissue paper that we're gonna glue on. We're gonna take this piece here, the, the one here with the, the bird and everything, and we're gonna cut three pieces of tissue paper to the size of this rectangle, just like this. And the reason why we're doing this is we want to be able to see through the light box, right? So we need to cut out some tissue paper. You could use any color. We're just using white for this, but you use any color you like. And what we're going to do is we're going to glue this to the frames of these three pieces. So let's get to assembling. So we're going to glue, see the, the lines, the black lines, we're going to have them coming up and we're going to just put some glue as much as we can. We're going to spread that glue all around on the interior part, just like I'm showing you right here so that we can take one of those sheets of tissue paper and we glue it right on top. See, it fits perfectly on top there. And you're gonna press it, make sure it dries, so press it, and we're gonna put it aside. And what, what it also does, it's gonna support some of those really small pieces so they don't fly off. Now this piece here, this sort of half piece, this is gonna be a little bit more difficult. We are only gonna glue on part of the rectangle of tissue paper, and then we're gonna tape it for the rest. So we just glued it on just in place, kind of like we did last time. We're just going to make sure everything lays in place really nicely and flat. And let's do the same for this last piece with the T-Rex. And remember to do it with the black lines going up. Okay. So now we're going to place this last piece in place. And you're going to see, I'm going to kind of move 
the sheet a little and that spread it out. See how, how it's just spread it out. See, it fits on that rectangle really nicely. Perfect. And we're kind of spreading it. See, I'm using my fingers to kind of press the glue and move it all over the place. So there we go. There are our three frames, even though some of the frames are only half frames. They've all been glued in place and we're gonna use those to assemble later on. All right, so let's start with these three big rectangular pieces. This is kind of kind of be the, um, the sort of framework of our light box and these kind of fold in on themselves. So we're gonna put some glue right here for tab C. You see it kind of clues onto itself, watch. Just fold it over, glue it down and make sure you line it up real nice. See how it lines up nicely? Just like that and pinch it together, you gotta pinch it. Perfect. All right, so we did one, all right, and we're gonna do that for both of the other ones. So it's we're gonna do it a lot faster, I'm just gonna speed things up, because I don't need to explain this stuff to you guys. Once you get it the first time, you get it, you know, we show you the second time. Okay, so we've got these three sort of bracer pieces, and here's how we're gonna do. See it says glue tab here, D, and we're gonna glue it into place, so I'm gluing on the back and it should line up exactly there. Look at that. Awesome, it glues in right there. And now we need to glue this piece just like this. It glues right there. It's a little higher on this T-Rex piece. That's tab H. It's gonna glue over that piece right there. Look at that. Piece. It's just a little bit, but it should work just fine. So look at that. So we've got all of the tissue frames, right, with each scene from the Triassic, the Jurassic, and the Cretaceous periods, and they're all glued together.
Ooh, look, it's our Mesozoic light box. Ooh, there's the Triassic period. Ooh, look at this, and it's turning. And we got a light, if you're gonna see, there's actually a light underneath this. I'm sticking this on, but you could put any kind of little light in there. There's the um, Jurassic period. Ooh, look at that. That sauropod there. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. We're actually in the bathroom. <laughs> I'm in the bathroom, in the studio bathroom. Look at that, there's a the Cretaceous period. Ooh, look out, ah, it's a T-Rex. So isn't that cool? It's our very own Mesozoic light box. Cool. Did you enjoy making this Mesozoic light box? I sure did. I just, I can't stop. It's so cool. Um, anyways, uh, on your way out, could you do me a favor, please? Could you hit that like button and um, subscribe down below? Because it really helps with the YouTube algorithm and it gets these videos out there. Um, feel free to comment uh, below. And let me know if there's some other ideas. Do you have any ideas for new dinosaur crafts that we could do? Let me know and I will make it happen. I love your feedback. Everything that I do here is for you and because of you. So thank you for coming. This is Matthew Reinhardt saying, be kind to a stranger. That's right, even you, Mr. Sauropod. Be kind to a stranger. Think creatively and, ooh, I mean, look out for T-Rexes. But keep it popping. Bye. It's still dark, but I'm not looking at this thing. Ooh, I love that one. Bye, y'all.